two of the repairs. As you can see, this is the floor wire. It's a big brand new piece. Well, brand new piece off my roll. Uh, there's a couple little surface rust spots, but it's nothing big. As you can see, I've already attached it to the end, and I'm working up the side. Um, so I still have the other long side to do, and then this end. Now, this piece is actually cut a little bit too long. Um, my husband cut it longer than it needed to be, so um, I will have him trim this, and what I'll do is I'll leave this side unclipped, until after he trims it because it's a lot easier for me to get my pliers in there to trim so he'll trim that when he gets home um, and actually yesterday I found my other pa pair of J clips J clip pliers these ones as you can see have a wider side on the grip there a little plier end and it actually makes it a little bit easier to hold than my hold the clip than these pliers. These pliers work fine, and they're your standard everyday pliers. Um, very inexpensive, but um, and they work great, and they have a little bit of spring action to them. But these pliers that I'm going to be using today, I find a little bit more comfortable. It holds the J clip in a little bit easier, especially when I'm doing stuff one-handed. Um, and the way it seats the clip just give me a second here working one-handed is when you put the clip in the J part the bottom of the J of the clip hooks into the area with the double Y which makes it a little easier and you can use it this way or this way doesn't matter um, it'll work either way I prefer when I'm working by myself I don't have anybody holding wire I prefer to use it like this now there's no rule on your floor on your spacing of your clips you just want to make sure that you don't have any uh, gaps where it bows out and it should be nice and snug so I apologize for the wiggling because unfortunately working one-handed I can only do so much so I'm gonna try putting another clip in here this one, as you see, I'm coming up from the bottom. Like I said, I'm going to clip all the way to the corner. And then I'm going to do the other side. And then I'll leave this side until after he trims it. Um, I'm also going to go up the middle where this divider is. And I'm going to clip this bottom wire to the thing so there's no bowing between the two uh, cages so nobody can get a foot or anything under everything's going to be clipped in the way the rabbits doesn't bow the wire over time um, because some rabbits are a little on the chunky side and they will eventually with the, their weight will push down on the wire so you want to make sure that if it's a divide into two cages like this one that you have done the clips in the middle um, so we're going to get all that done then I'm going to work on putting doors on here I have to go look um, and see if I have some nice still not rusted doors um, in the shed that I can put on here otherwise I'm going to be cutting it from this roll of side wire which is still galvanized it's a slightly different color it will work as I'll just uh, have my husband cut the doors for that and then I'll grab some of the door latches and we'll put those all on um, it's already got the plastic stuff on it, so we're set to go with that. And we already have our screen divider in. I'm probably going to add a few more zip ties to the bottom and a couple on the side just to make sure it's nice and secure and there aren't any gaps. And then after that, um, I already got the other cage done. It's just waiting for that extra bit of wire to be trimmed so I can finish up the one side and then we're going to put legs and everything. I already put new doors on it. I do have to find a couple more pieces of that plastic stuff to put around the opening of the doors. I haven't been in the shed yet today. So we're going to get that done. And there'll be legs and they'll be finished and then actually I now have an order for two more cages. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this six stack and having my husband cut it. We'll take two of the best cages by themselves that are side by side and we'll use those and do the same process that I've done on these make sure they got nice doors nice latches brand new floor wire and that all 
this has been cleaned up and then I will put legs on it and hopefully the trays will fit nice and tight and everything will go really good as you can see my trays are sitting over there I have four I'll have my daughter grab two more out of the barn and give them a quick power wash um, so we'll be able to do that extra two cages I'm going to be doing in the next day or so all right I'll come back to another video in just a little bit